Hello fellow developers welcome back to the tech rakshit i am amit and in this video let's discuss about hosting in javascript how variables in javascript are hosted how functions are hosted in javascript and all about it so stay till the end so that maybe some of your interview queries and concepts can be cleared up all right so first of all what exactly is hosting imagine you have this code now here you have a variable count then two functions one is increment and the another is decrement here if you simply print the variable count it will give you the output as one but can you do the same operation before even the variable is initialized and in javascript you can do it and this behavior is called hosting so essentially hosting is the phenomena of putting all your declaration of the variables to the top of the scope so in javascript you can also call the same function that you already declared later on and you can call this function increment before before even it is defined also you can call the decrement function as well cool isn't it cool and this is why javascript is extremely special so now let me just simply put a console.log for this increment and also console.log for the decrement so that we can know that it is simply working otherwise you won't believe me for you do if you do not see all right so now i have four print options one is at line number 2 which is console.log before the count is initialized with value 1 now at line number 4 then line number 5 and 6 so let's see what is the output now we simply come here then refresh it going to the console at line number 2 it has printed undefined at line number 4 it has printed 1 which is expected because count is 1 now after the increment it has printed 2 and after the decrement again it has printed 1 which is expected but the unexpected thing is undefined you can access the variable even before it is initialized at line number 3 this is why javascript is so special why does it happen if you want to know then you have to know a little bit about javascript execution context and i already have discussed that in this particular video cool in the i button check that out now so in javascript execution context it has two major components one is the memory allocation component and second is the thread of execution component now before each line of code or before even execution of the code actually starts all the variables in a file all the variables in a context is allocated a memory in the memory allocation phase so first the memory allocation happens so in this case count increment at decrement these three variables are attached to the global and that's how memory allocation happens and later on after the memory allocation has happened with a particular keyword for variables it is undefined so let me just simply uh put a debug debugger at line number 1 or 2 maybe so maybe i'll just put a line number to put a debugger here so you can know how things are working and after the memory allocation is done it simply starts the execution process in the thread of execution i'm simply just doing a breakpoint so it is stopped at breakpoint 2 now if you see here the count here the count variable value is undefined because in the execution context memory allocation component or memory allocation phase basically this count is attached to the global object do you want to see It's come here it in this global thing this is the global object of the browser and if you closely observe here this count this is a key value pair the key is a count and the value is undefined see that is how the undefined is allocated now what would happen for increment and decrement the same thing for increment we have got something definitely let me find it yes increment this increment is also a key value pair and for this increment 
all the whole function is actually the whole text of the function is stored at the memory allocation time also for the decrement uh, decrement is also for the decrement the same thing is happening so before even each line before even coming to line number one so basically before even code execution is started the variables and functions are allo allotted with some memory or space and with the special keyword undefined to the variable and the function is the whole function is stored so this is why it is coming undefined before the initialization now at line number three when it comes and it is initialized with the value one then its value is one which is very pretty normal and it's very simple so now you may come to this line number five and call this particular function now you might be thinking that increment is undefined no it is not undefined it has been defined in the key value pair form at the javascript execution memory allocation phase okay or variable environment phase variable environment environment basically also the decrement function it is also allotted the space or memory at the variable environment so before even the execution has started this particular phenomena before before the execution starts when the variables are allotted some space and memory this phenomena is called hosting now there are a couple of things in this case i had defined a variable using a var keyword now if i just simply change it to late keyword let me just check what it does now it is simply throwing an error that cannot access count before initialization it cannot access count before initialization does that mean count with late keyword is not hosted no it is not this is a very common misconception it is also hosted let me show you where it is stored now in this case this count variable is also hosted and it also has got a memory from the memory allocation phase and it is now stored in this script scope now if we just simply put a little more yes here script scope discount variable is allocated a little bit of memory but but what is the difference the difference is here in this case it is not given a value undefined the value is unavailable and this thing or this phenomenon is called temporal dead zone what is temporal dead zone the late variables when they are allotted memory but it is not initialized initialized with a value this time between these two event is called temporal dead zone so what happened the very the variable has got the space or the memory but it is not allocated with any value until it gets a value it cannot be accessed so that is the same error was thrown in the console this time zone like from the allocation up till the first initialization happens this time zone is called temporal dead zone in this time the late or const variables cannot be accessed all right so in this case the count value or count variable is not attached to the global variable it is attached to a script scope so this is why the count you cannot access it before the initialization but it doesn't mean that count is not hosted it is hosted so in any interview if you face this question that like if late or const variables are hosted the answer is yes they are hosted now if i simply change this function to let me just change it to with with this particular fashion then also can you access the value like increment and the answer is no you cannot okay for the time being let me just change this to where also because i want to see only for this i don't want to get there all right so here i'm just simply going now if you see come to the console you got an error uncode reference error cannot access increment before initialization this is the same thing like it happened for the previous case in case of count also you could not access that and that is because this is the property of late or const variables 
So in this case, if I just put a breakpoint here and just simply running it in this time in the script scope, if you see increment is also another variable that is coming because now increment is defined using a const keyword variable. So if you are defining function using this const keyword like a simple variable and then an arrow function, you have to call the function after the initialization. So you have to call this at line number 10 or later. Otherwise, you cannot access it. All right, cool. That is how things work in JavaScript. And this is Washington. Thank you very much.